grandpa's cornbread from scratch. You'll need buttermilk, canola oil, or whatever kind of oil you want to use, some cornmeal mix. I use butter flavored Crisco to coat the pan, gives it a good butter flavored taste. And you'll start with two eggs. So there's what you need right there. Got it? All right, let's do it. Just put two eggs in the bowl. Stir them up a little bit. I should have got something got that on. A little bit of oil here. Now I always just measure how much oil I want. Canola oil. Put a little bit of oil in it. Probably about a quarter of a cup, maybe. Maybe a little bit less. Stir it up real good. Should have got something to put that spoon on, but I didn't. Alright, buttermilk. I shuck it good. Now you're gonna put some buttermilk in here. Mm. Once again, maybe a maybe a cup. I just don't measure nothing on it. And this is from my grandfather. He lived to be 97 years old. This is his recipe. And my wife always wants me to make cornbread, so here we go. Now you're going to put some cornmeal mix in it. I do this one hand. If I can do it with one hand. Cornmeal mix. Just, and here's just all you do is you just get your texture right. We'll start with that. See what that looks like. And just stir it in. Cornmeal. Eggs. Canola oil. Buttermilk. That texture is too thin, see so look. So let's put more in there. Should have a tripod for this, but I'm holding it with my hand. You want your texture good and thick, but you don't want it too thick. That's getting pretty good there. You can always do a smaller pan too. You don't, so I use an iron skillet. You can use just a regular pan. That texture's pretty good there, actually. cook in the middle. Now a good thick texture like this that runs a little bit, it'll cook thoroughly inside and out. And you always put your, make sure to put your oven on 425 preheat. And I usually time it about 30 minutes. That's pretty good right there. It's going to rise in that pan, so you don't want to get that pan full. About half to three quarters in that skillet. You can also use one of these pans if you don't have a skillet, which that actually be good enough. Texture's good. Alright, let's see if I can't do this camera somehow so I can capture this. I don't know if I can or not. I'll do the best I can.